Okay, great. Now we have a movie model and we can convert data to the Dart object by using movie model. Okay, but we also need to another thing and that is movie entity. Okay, if you're familiar with clean architecture, the entity is similar to model, but it handles business logic and model handles, for example, converting data to the Dart object and working with API and database. Okay, so I'm going to copy this one here and let's go to the domain layer. The entities uh, should be inside domain layer and here inside entities, let's create new file called movie. And paste right here. As I said, uh, we will not have from JSON or to JSON methods inside entity. And let's change model to entity. So when we get data from a server, we have to convert that data to the model and then at the final step, we have to convert model to the entity and the pass to the presentation. So inside presentation layer, we are going to use entity. Okay, great. Now, maybe you wondered, uh, well, the entity and the model are same. So why we need to have both of them? Okay, let me explain why we need to both of them. The first reason we should have both of them is separation of concerns. Okay, so now what does it mean? Okay, entities represent the core business logic and the rules independent of external systems like APIs, databases, and other things. They exist in the domain layer, which is pure and shouldn't depend on any external data sources. Okay, perfect. But on the other hand, we have models, which is going to represent data structures that are depend on external systems like APIs, databases, or JSON data. They are used to interact with these systems, but are kept separate from the business logic. Okay. Keeping entities and the models separate ensures that the core business logic is not affected by changes in external data formats or sources. Perfect. And the next reason I think is testability. Okay, let me explain what is testability. Entities being pure and independent of external data formats are much easier to test. You can test the core business logic without worrying about external dependencies like network calls or database operations. Okay, but models can involve complex data transformation or serialization and deserialization logic that often require mocking external systems, making it more difficult to test directly. Okay, perfect. Rat gangs, and in my opinion, number three is flexibility and extensibility. Okay, so let me explain what does it mean. In clean architecture, the domain layer should remain stable and reusable. Since entities are decoupled from specific data formats, we can change how data is stored or retrieved. For example, switching from REST API to GraphQL or Firebase without altering the core business rules. Okay, and on the other hand, the models can evolve with changes in the data source. For example, adding new fields to an API response while the entities remain unaffected unless the business logic itself changes. Okay, perfect. And the last one I think is a single responsibility principle from solid principles. Okay, in my opinion, this is so important and everyone should follow this principle okay great and now let me explain what does it mean entities focus on business logic okay just business logic and ensuring that the core roles and behaviors are encapsulated okay but models focus on how data is stored and transferred between layers 
and the external systems for example mapping between json and dart objects okay so it has a different role which makes the code easier to understand and maintain okay awesome now i want to show some examples for you so that you can understand better and it's gonna be a bit more sense perfect now let's back to the our project okay great now uh, this is our entity and i'm gonna remove this one and let's imagine uh, we only have model and we don't have entity okay so let's back to the movie model okay all right now in order to understand better i'm gonna define a business logic okay but as i said business logic should be placed inside domain layer and specifically inside entity but imagine we don't have entity and we remove our entity okay so let's see what happened so here i'm gonna define business logic for example let's imagine we have business logic for calculate popularity of one movie so here i'm gonna define like this okay this is our business logic and here we can return for example let's see what we have what average in what count okay perfect so this is our business logic and this should be inside our entity not inside model why let me say why okay we have some problems here and the first one which is so clear is violation of single responsibility principle okay look at here the movie model class is doing too much it is responsible for business logic for example this business logic i mean calculate popularity of movie and it handles data conversion from and to json serialization and deserialization okay and any change in the business logic or the api response could affect both areas for example if the api starts providing a different format for what average and what count we will need to modify both how the class parses data and how it calculate okay so this is wrong way and wrong approach and another problem i think is difficult to maintain okay for example if you add a new business logic or change the way data is handled you will need to modify this class over time as the application grows this class will become complex with both logic and data management code so this making it difficult to manage okay and if the structure of your data for example json or database schema changes the model will need to change okay and if your business logic is in the model it could get affected by these changes but with entities the business logic stays the same even if the model changes okay and this makes your code more flexible to adapt to external changes like an api response format change without affecting the core logic okay so if we don't use entity we will have many problems i always prefer to use entity and i suggest you as well uh, i'm gonna back to the entity file and use entity okay great perfect and let me remove this business logic here just like that okay great 